Welcome to Cinema's Underbelly, the channel where we dive into the deepest, darkest trenches of the underground to analyze and review the most obscure, obscene, and controversial films that cinema has to offer. I'm your host, Jonathan Doe, and today we will be reviewing The Untold Story Trilogy. The Untold Story Trilogy is a series of Category 3 exploitation films originating from the infamous Eight Immortals Restaurant Murders, where in which the Zen clan, a family of ten, were slaughtered inside their own restaurant after failing to pay gambling debts to a Mr. Wang Ziheng, resulting in Wang running and operating the business for several months after butchering the family, claiming to be the new shop owner. When the ocean dumped body parts of the Zheng family began washing up on local beaches, Wang would ultimately be caught and arrested. Once news of the crime became public, rumors began to circulate that the butchered family was cooked into the restaurant's pork buns and sold to its customers. Less than a decade after the infamous crimes occurred, Herman Yao would release his adaptation of the tragic events with his film, The Untold Story. The film's plot is fairly faithful to the general order of events that was the Eight Immortals restaurant murders. However, some aspects of the case are indeed embellished or exaggerated, and the film plays into the sensationalism and rumors that the family was cooked into the restaurant's cuisine. The film opens with Wong's character arguing with a man over unpaid debts, resulting in the man being set on fire by Wong. The film then flashes forward to 1986. The Zheng family is already dead, body parts are washing up on the beach, and Wang Chihang is operating the Eight Immortals restaurant. The discovered body parts spark a police investigation, and essentially, the film's narrative is centered on the police character's pursuit to find the killer. At the same time, as it focuses on Wang's character, as he operates the restaurant and continues to murder more people to cook them into the restaurant's pork buns. Eventually, Wong is captured by the police and confesses to the killings, which is presented as one large flashback graphically exhibiting the murder of the family. Using real child actors to play the Zheng children, with death scenes that are as violent as they are graphic, This grand finale really exemplifies why this film has the notoriousness and cult status that it has. Though these scenes are also some of the elements of the case, which the film seems to have taken creative liberties, with scenes of rape, beheading, and other acts of murder not documented within the real true events that the film derives inspiration. These historical inaccuracies are displayed further with the side story of the police characters, who are presented as a dim-witted Scooby-Doo crew, relying on the guidance of their police chief, who seems to constantly be distracting the team with the new arm candy he has draped over his side with every new scene when he comes into frame. And though I personally felt like I could have done without the comic relief from The Boys in the Blue, I recognize that for many, this could be someone's favorite aspect of the film. Due to the film's explicit and disturbing depictions of sex and violence, the film was granted a Category 3 rating, which is essentially the equivalent of an NC-17 or X rating within the United States. Despite this, the film was a major success at the Hong Kong box office, and Anthony Wong won his first award for Best Actor at the 13th Hong Kong Film Awards for his role in the film. On June 20th, 1998, director Andy Ning Yu Quen would release The Untold Story 2, a feature which holds no relationship to the Eight Immortals restaurant murders or any other event pertaining to the film. Instead, focusing on the story of a restaurant owner named Chung, who is stuck in an unhappy marriage with his wife Quen. We quickly discover that Quen is openly cheating on her husband and is shamelessly taking money from the restaurant to buy luxury items to satisfy her lovers. When Quen's beautiful cousin Feng decides to come visit and stay with the couple, Chung and Feng quickly become infatuated with each other. And soon, Quen realizes that her cousin has every intention of taking her place as Chung's wife. 
Fung commits to her plan and ends up killing her cousin, and then decides to chop her up into pieces and serve her at her now ex-husband's restaurant. And that's just the first half of the movie. As far as sequels go, this film was surprisingly a solid entry to lay under the untold story banner. It maintains the same juxtaposition of humor and brutality that is exemplified within the first film. It stars Anthony Wong, this time as the dim-witted police officer offering comic relief. And it maintains the same non-consensual cannibalism shtick that popularized the plot of the first film. Even without its association with the original untold story, I think that many would find enjoyment in this picture even if it was simply a standalone film. On November 18, 1999, Herman Yao would reprise his role as director and release The Untold Story 3. By far the weakest entry within the trilogy, the film focuses on a supposedly real case where in which four young men plead guilty to the murder of a man despite there being no evidence of an actual crime. The majority of the film takes place in a police station, where in which the young men are being interrogated, with intermittent flashbacks detailing the series of events leading up to the murder. Besides Danny Lee playing the role of Officer Lee, who he played in the original Untold Story, the film has absolutely no relationship or similarities to either previous film, and in my personal opinion, unless you're a completist like me, is a perfectly fine film to skip on. Following the success of the first untold story, several other features have been produced trying to cash in on the untold story name. One of the rarest of these copycat endeavors is the 1994 film, The Unpublicizable File, also known as The Unpublicized Case, Human Sausages. A film which focuses on a crippled chef with a gambling addiction who hates the world. Despite being seemingly unable to get along with any of the staff hired to help in the kitchen, and being in considerable debt to his employer, this miserable man seems to have found job security, knowing that his disability was the cause of his guilt-stricken boss. Regardless of these dysfunctions, the restaurant always seems to have a mysteriously endless supply of fresh sausage which seems to be a customer favorite. On July 5th, 2003, director Chun Tin would release Bloody Buns, essentially a low-budget shot-for-shot remake of The Untold Story. Choosing to replicate the exact same Looney Tunes police trio, duplicate the same fabricated kill scenes, copy the exact same narrative plot structure. Bloody Buns is essentially the Wish.com version of the untold story. Out of all of the sequels and copycats centered around the Eight Immortals restaurant murders, the original untold story is still hands down the best movie you're going to get pertaining to the topic. And with this brand new Unearthed Films first ever North American Blu-ray release, you have little excuse to sleep on this one. As always, thank you for watching, and if you liked this video, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Till next time, this is Cinema's Underbelly.